Advanced Magnetic Timeline utilizes the best of traditional track editing. That means you have control of how you want to edit right at your fingertips. This week we're exploring two edit modes that are extremely important to understand in order to edit with confidence. Insert mode and overwrite mode. Your LumaFusion timeline is set by default to insert mode, so you may already be familiar with the timeline behavior we're going to see here. In insert mode, if you want to insert one or more clips in between two different shots on your timeline, so dragging and dropping from the media library, the existing clips, as you can see here, will budge up out of the way and up the timeline. This practice works the other way too. So gaps are closed when we remove media from the timeline. So as you can see, as I delete this clip, the footage to the right of it jumps down the timeline to fill the space. This is called ripple deleting, which will not only delete the clip you've highlighted itself, but also the gap it leaves behind on the timeline. You'll also notice in insert mode that while trimming clips, all of your shots will stay together nice and neatly, leaving no blank spaces on the timeline. So that's insert mode, where clips on the main track are moved out of the way to make room for new media when adding new footage or trimming. Now this is great because you know all of your clips and editing layers are kept safe and sound on the timeline should you be moving footage in and out and rearranging. On the other hand, we have overwrite mode. Now unlike insert mode, any actions taken on the timeline in overwrite mode will not have an impact on the positioning of any of your other clips. So let's have a look at this in more detail. To change modes from insert to overwrite, you can see I'm opening the track headers at the bottom left of the editor and tapping the insert overwrite icon here. You can see now the arrow is facing down and the main track is purple, telling me I'm in overwrite mode. If I drag a new clip from the media library down, you can see I don't get that yellow vertical line to insert new footage in between two clips like we did before. Instead, I get this white rectangle box. Now placing the clip here on the timeline will overwrite anything under it. So only the content outside of the box will remain on the timeline. When I let go of my finger, the clips will be overwritten. In addition, lengthening a clip with these trimming handles will overwrite any existing clip that gets in its way. If you trim a clip shorter, you'll notice none of the other clips move down. You'll just be left with a space on the timeline. Also look at the space that's left when I delete a clip. Unlike insert mode where all the other clips move down, in overwrite mode you'll just get a blank space on the timeline. The magnetic characteristic of the main track disappears when you're in overwrite mode, so you can place your clips wherever you like. Some editors like to edit content in different places around the timeline, so you could cut your interview down here at the bottom and your b-roll at the top. Overwrite mode is also great for example when you have a complex timeline and you want to delete something on the main track without all your other editing moving up. Most editors use a mix of insert and overwrite mode in a single project, simply tapping the insert overwrite icon to flip between them. This can happen because you'll notice here that when you return to insert mode from overwrite mode, these gaps we create in overwrite mode will exist as blank clips that can be trimmed, replaced or removed when in insert mode. It's as if the spaces are a clip in their own right in the timeline. Now it's completely up to you how you choose to edit, in insert mode, in overwrite mode, or a mixture of the two. If you're just starting out on your editing journey, it's a good idea to stick with insert mode for the time being, and then integrate overwrite mode into your projects as and when you need it. That way you can be sure you're not going to accidentally overwrite anything that you don't want to. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, it does take a little bit of practice to get to grips with both of those two modes, but it really is beneficial to your editing to know how your clips are going to behave in the timeline when you're using insert or overwrite. So do have a practice with that. If you would like one-on-one -on -one training from the Luma Touch Academy or you're stuck on anything at all, please do get in touch. That's all from me for this week. I'll see you soon.